Welcome to... Hey, still not Tuesday. Today we install mods. Next time we manage them. Now, I'm going to show an optional step for those who keep a tight grip on their system storage. Let's do it. Bash creates a storage directory next to the chosen game's game folder to store mod archives and information. I changed this for storage management and it should be done now before any mods are installed. It's absolutely fine to leave everything how it is and skip to the next section of the video. For those who want to do this, if Rybash is open, close it. Open the Mopi folder. Duplicate the Bash default any. Rename this copy bash.ini. Open it. Find the General section. Delete everything between General and Oblivion Path. Now add these lines. Copy and paste them from the video description. Regardless of what game you're playing, S Oblivion Mods equals never changes. Same name for all games. In the second window, go to your storage location of choice. Click on the folder directory bar. Copy the directory path. What I've highlighted is where your storage path goes. Delete the highlighted area. Paste the path that you copied. Everything else for these three entries stays the same as mine. Now that the directories have been moved, you can delete the initial mods folder. If you're like me and store other stuff inside, open the folder and delete bash installers and bash mod data. These other folders are my personal directories and have nothing to do with this video or Rybash. All mods for Bash are downloaded manually. I create a Mod Archives folder for each game to store my downloaded mods. You can store them wherever you like. Download any mod so you can follow along with the next step. Open Rybash. Installers tab. This is where mods are installed. To allow mods to be installed, right-click Package. Activate Enable. Yes. Drag a mod archive into the package window. Copy duplicates the archive and puts it in Bash's mod storage. Move moves the archive. What you choose is your preference. If the package doesn't appear, right-click in the package window, refresh data. Click to highlight the mod. The right window now displays information for the selection. We cover more of this in the mod management video. Sub-packages displays optional folders that some mods come with. Ever encounter a faux mod? That installer window uses these types of folders to provide you with choices. In Rybash, you leave what you want to install checked and deactivate the options you don't. Most mods won't have sub-packages. Plugin Filter displays the same choice but for plugins. When you've made your choices, right-click the archive, install. It may take a moment, just let it work. Optionally, if the package has a wizard's icon, you can right-click it Wizard Installer, choose either of the top options. Then walk through the menu, choosing what you want to install this way. Once installed, open the Mods tab. If you install the plugin, this is where you activate them. Do so. Installers tab, right-click the mod in question, uninstall. It's that simple. Reinstall it from the same menu. I have a history of overloading viewers with information. I'm not doing that anymore. Next time, we'll cover what all of these colors and symbols mean and some other stuff. Hope to see you then. This channel and my life are primarily funded by donations. If I've helped you out and you care to pick up where YouTube is slacking, even a dollar goes a long way. I'm off to make some more videos. Take care.